everyone, this is Frank from Apple One to One. Today I want to go over how you can customize the numbers toolbar for the iPad. Okay, so now let's take a spreadsheet that I have here and we're going to customize the toolbar and then we're going to show you how some of these functions work. So the first thing is you click on the ellipsis, customize toolbar, and we're going to put the bigger and smaller font. Then we're going to choose add a category and then comments. We'll do copy style and paste style. Hit done. So now we have those icons in our toolbar. So we have our basic table here to show you how some of these things work. Let's highlight column A. Hit the a with the plus sign, which is to enlarge our font. You see how it's doing that. So then if we go over to, and let's say we want to increase the font and maybe we want to make a bold. So we would go to format and bold. Maybe you want to change the cell fill. So let's go to color and we'll choose a light yellow. If you highlight that, just like that. And then you hit that eyedropper with the circle to copy. Then you can slide down and then hit the eyedropper with the solid thing. And that will copy everything that format into here. If you go to the next column, let's say we want this to be Again, what you want to do here is we're going to format this. So we're going to, let's just go, to, let's say to the first one, format. And you want the format to be a number. And you want it to be two decimal. And we want to use the thousand separator. All right. Just like that. Now you have the first one done. So hit that eyedropper with the just the circle around it. Come down to these other subsequent ones. You can go all the way down if you'd like. Hit paste. And now you see you have your thousand separator and it's throughout your entire spreadsheet. One of the other things that we talked about in previous videos was categories. So if we go to the date, and if you go to that icon with the three little lines with the dots on the left, click on that, that's going to give us a category. And we're, say going, to, we're going to say by date. Now that's broken that out by date. Let's say we want to have summaries on that. So you put your cursor in C on that summary. And if you look in the lower right hand corner, you'll see summary. Click on it and you just say sum. What that will do then is give us a summary. You'll notice I also had, and now this, this down here, the first quarter was a formula for all that, that entire column. So that is picking that up. And then we can, you can close these as we've shown in previous videos. And now you have your first quarter results and January results. Then if you wanted to come in, and let's just say for sake of argument, you want to, we're going to do the same thing. So copy, paste. Now you notice you have the same amount. Well, let's say entertainment. We want to just change that to um, I don't know, $75. All right. Metro Pass is going to stay the same. Food, maybe food. We only spent uh, $180. Rent is the same. Car payments the same. So you see you have a, a different amount for February than you do January. And our first quarter is the sum of the two. Now, basically, that's how you can add icons to your toolbar and utilize them when you're creating a spreadsheet. 
Hope that explains how to add the icons to the toolbar and then how to utilize them when you're creating your spreadsheet. Okay, take care. We'll see you soon.